Hey, what's up and welcome. It's Matthew here, the designer and developer, the best of both worlds, the hybrid. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Coded Design. In case you are new here, this is part two. If you might want to watch part one, here is part one. Without wasting time, let's just jump straight into it. So, as you can see, guys, okay, this is where we want to go. Okay, this is where we want to go. We are already done with the splash screen and the onboarding screen. Then this is where we are. Obviously, in the previous video, I said uh, we are going to use Expo icon. But I have changed my mind. Okay, here is the reason. As you can see, guys, this is the design that we are trying to create. Since you know, in this channel, I am geared towards helping you to land a job. Imagine in your job, if they are asking you to design to develop this screen as it is okay and then you use an icon like this one as you can see guys you can affect the look and feel of the application so if i'm serious about helping you to get a job if we have a design that we need to develop in front of us we must get it exactly as it is so with that being said what we are going to do now we are going to use these icons as they are that will mean we have to incorporate or we have to add an SVG on React Native. So how are we going to do that? Okay, we are going to use Expo. Expo, uh, there is this package. Okay, this is an Expo page, documentation page. There is this package, React Native SVG. We are going to use it. Okay, um, I have already installed this. Okay, where is the installation? Okay, I have already installed this package. Okay, let me just show you how would you go about it. First, you will have to stop the development server on Windows, press Ctrl C, and then from there, you will install this. Okay, this package, and then when you are done with that, we are going to follow these instructions as they are. Okay, we need to import it. Okay, um, let's just quickly check here. Okay, in the usage. Okay, as you can see, guys, we are going to use um, our own SVGs. Okay, so the component that we are going to use here, mostly it's SVG, this one. Okay, so let's copy this line. Let's go back here. Since we are done installing, let's run the development server npx expo start dash c okay and then we want to be here okay this is where we are and then this is our tab navigation okay where we can even find this icon okay as you can see guys here is this home icon here okay so instead of this home icon we must render this icon okay this icon now let's go back to the code and then what we are going to do let's first import what we're supposed to import let me just delete this okay we are not going to use the circle and react okay we are only going to use um we are going to use only this svg component okay cool beans and then what we are going to do let's copy this as it is i'm um please note that i'm only going to copy the function okay only the function without export okay and then this is going to be a function right below this test okay let's have this function as you can see um let me import this circle so that i can show you how this is so that you can see when we are modifying it okay let me import everything and then guys what we are going to do we are going to take this component as it is and we are going to display it so let's display it inside home here first okay um where is our home test here is our home test okay let's just click enter enter here Okay, we can return two elements at the same time. So let's wrap these elements with a React fragment, as you can see, something like this. 
Okay, my apologies about that. And then guys, let's run the development server. Okay, it's already running. So let's uh, refresh here. Okay, as you can see guys, it's uh, starting. So let's see what we will have on the home screen. Okay, let's see. So um, this portion of the tutorial will require our knowledge about our SVGs. So we are going to manipulate SVGs a bit. Okay, as you can see guys, this is what we have. Okay, but for us, we don't want these circles, right? We want icons. Okay. So what we are going to do, um, let me just close this, close this, okay. I've got an SVG icon here, which is icon.svg. Let me name it as home, okay. Um, let me just name it as home, okay. Um, so what I want to do, this is what I did, okay. This is what I did, guys. Okay, so let me just uh, first talk about the logic and how we are going to do this. Let me open my notes. Let me open my notes so that I can explain some few things. Okay, my apologies about this. Can't I have a new tab instead? Kumbaya, this is what I want. Okay, maximize move this down okay guys so this is what i want okay what we are going to do here we've got icons okay we've got um, these icons from okay we've got these icons let's say we've got this icon okay and there is this indicator indicating that this is is this a bell icon or oh, this is an indicator my apologies guys maybe i might have missed something if this is a bell icon then this circle is too far okay the circle is too far from from the bell okay let me just ch check here what component is this as you can see guys this component is standalone and also this dot it's a standalone so i would like to think i'm right okay this is not the bell this is just an indicator okay let's say we've got icon 2 here don't mind about this shape and icon 3 here so um, whenever okay how are we going to do this um let me go back i'm struggling on choices okay i have to make some important development choices my apologies about that but this is going to to help you as well okay my first attempt was to have this dot on all these um icons and then i will hide it based on a certain condition if this is active then i will show it in if it's not active i will hide it then i'm thinking is there a way in which this um what can i say this dot can be a coding component or a coding element here is the reason maybe now we want to put something else here instead of a circle so that we can do that using code if we can embed this functionality on an svg it will mean that in the future if we are having some changes we need to do exactly what we are going to do now, manipulate SVGs. Remember, we are developers, we are not SVG creators. So we need to gravitate towards solution that will make the development process simple and easy to modify. So guys, that's why my mind, I was having two conflicting thoughts and now my mind, it's clear. I know exactly what I'm going to do. This circle, we will add it through a code okay so this is what i did i just copied this okay copy cv and then let's say you are new here and you want to know where can you get this file maybe it's not your 
it's not your it's, it's your first time okay you didn't watch the first video let's see please uh check this url and check this project okay let me click here this is um the project that we are using you can just uh click here open in figma so i am going to copy this link or let me just click uh, there's no need for me to open so as you can see guys you can um use uh, this figma file so back to the matter at hand okay so what we want to do now okay so what i did is to take this svg as it is okay as you can see it's a group of components okay it's a group of items or element in it so we need to take it as it is first we need to flatten it okay as you can see guys it's a group of things okay it's not one file so before you export it you have to flatten it so that it can be one file okay and then what we want to do we want to export it as an svg okay let's click here export as an svg as you can see and then export it okay so i have just renamed it and i am using it here okay so this is the um, where is that icon not png svg in our assets home svg okay i have renamed it to home okay not much of a problem let me just minimize this so as you can see guys this is the exact same svg right okay so we don't want these uh circle okay let's just quickly check some similarities between the code that we have here okay where we are where we are where we are okay here is the svg component okay here is the svg component okay so as you can see guys we've got svg okay uh, and also here we've got svg the difference is this is um the capital letters okay these are capital letters this one's the original one is a small letter so everything here it's a capital letter let's just check again as you can see the svg is a capital letter the circle the rectangle also the svg here it's a capital letter so these are some sort of react components they are not exactly the same like these ones even though they are some sort of a look-alike or a mirror image of those okay so what we want to do we need to stick to to that standard okay so everything is the same but the difference is um the caps okay so what we can do here we can copy this as is okay come back here and then what we are going to do we are going to paste this as it is as you can see this one is green and this one is not green okay the first thing that we are going to do we are going to change this to a capital letter change this to a capital letter okay change all of this my apologies about that okay all of these to capital letters okay okay um what we can do as well react is complaining because we must always return one file so we can wrap this in a jsx fragment as you can see guys it doesn't now it doesn't complain okay change this to path okay let's see what might be the problem da, 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 da. okay let's ignore all other things okay this is not there in the svg make sure we delete that okay and then here the problem is we have to import path so all of these are imported from as you can see svg cycle react are imported from here so we have to import path as well okay now that we only we've only changed um the the capital letters which is the the elements themselves and we have removed that let's just save and see what we will see on the screen as you can see guys we've got the svg exactly as it is it's supposed to be so what we are going to do now we are going to remove this okay 
we are going to remove this one and let's only remain with this one as you can see guys so we've got um our svg working on react native okay so let's go back um so what we want to do we want to render this here instead and when we are rendering it okay we want to manipulate the color okay meaning that the feel okay so let's dive deep into this svg let's look for feel okay usually it's at the end somewhere here so let's change this to let's say black okay a noticeable color as you can see guys there's a black part here okay let's change another one to black just to give you an idea as you can see there's also another black part there okay so meaning that the fill color of these it's this one okay so since we already have a component here what we can do here since we are using typescript we can accept a color okay let's say we have color here okay um when where and where are we going to use these we are only going to use these here so is the sizing important i think so okay so let's just also supply the size maybe we might want to adjust them okay a little bit okay and then let's type these color as string and the size as number okay okay i'm happy with that and then um what else okay we've got the width and the height okay the width and the height it's exactly the same let's just go check here are all our icons like that okay the width and height is the same okay the width and the width and height the width and height is the same so what we can do we can have only one size here okay it's going to be either it's going to be 20 or 21 and then now let's make some changes okay so instead of putting this string literal here we can use size okay here because now this is javascript okay so we're going to use size here and also on this 21 we are going to use size okay let's check if this is working okay so our tab okay this component according to re, um, TypeScript is going to complain. Where is it? Okay. Here's it. It's telling us we need to assign the size. Let's assign a bigger size. Okay. Let's say we are assigning it. Before it was 21. Now let's make it. Okay. What is this complaining? Oh, also it's complaining for color. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. We are not using color at the moment, but let me supply it okay let it be empty okay this is the one that we already used now let me make this 60 and let's see as you can see guys now the the icon is becoming bigger based on the size and then in terms of color let's make sure also we are using color okay so where there is fill we are going to put the color here Okay, we're going to put the color here. Okay. In all of these, we are going to put the color here. Okay, let's see. It's fill equal to, okay. Fill equal to color. I can just copy this as it is. Okay. Okay, now the color is um, some empty string. Since the color is an empty string, it defaulted to black. Let's see if maybe we can put red here. As you can see, guys, the color is changing. We've got red there. 
okay so let me try to um, zoom in um can i do that okay let me just use my phone to check okay no everything is fine okay okay the color it's fine it's exactly as we want it okay so guys now we need to find a way of making our lives easier because now everything is in the same page of which it's not supposed to be like that okay so let's create a folder where we are going to have our our what can i say our um, icons okay let's create a folder here okay these are components i think if we have a folder components here we might put these inside we only have screens we don't have components okay let's create a folder components folder components inside these because these are components we are going to have um a folder which is um let's call this tab icons okay that's the folder tab icons okay and then inside tab icons we are going to have a file which is also going to be tab icons okay it's going to be a ts not tsx okay um ts or tsx let's make it tsx because we've got some jsx ele elements there tab icons i'm happy with that and then what we're going to do we are going to move all these icons that we are going to create to generate in one file okay let's do that so our tab navigator what we want first we want to remove this function okay this function doesn't belong here okay it was here for testing obviously there will be some errors guys don't mind about that um tab icons going to paste this function here i'm going to import all the needed element okay as you can see everything is working fine so let's just give this a name and say home okay this is a uh, home let's go back to the ui and let's discuss some things okay based on my initial planning i i was um, or i wanted to name these icons okay this one i i gave a name of this page is going to be a shopping cart um here is going to be favorites and here it's going to be your orders when you've ordered something all your orders will be there some sort of a history of your orders and here since this means that we are here this active red thing it means we are here this is supposed to be home or welcome screen or something like that but i'm not sure if this bell icon represents that okay maybe it might happen that this is not a bell icon this is an icon that represents a home maybe it's a modern icon for that but please guys um understand that i only got this design so i the designer is not within reach for me to ask what's going on here so that i can talk to them but in real life you are going to talk to the designer as to what's going on here okay the designer will let you know um what what's going on so for us at the moment some other naming or some other names might not relate or correspond to the icon this is going to be home or welcome even though it has got a bell okay because that's my logic as a developer it's home da, 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 da. so that's why we have home here as an icon okay that means we are done with this icon so we've got a job to do this for all these icons okay first thing that we need to do let's have a function which is another function okay so whenever we are done with an icon let's quickly export it okay so that we know we are done exporting it let's export it okay export it as if this is just home this is not uh, a good name so home icon is better <clears throat> apologies about that so we are exporting it so that it can be available let's quickly test if it's available let's copy this element 
and then instead of rendering components with uh, red let's just change this to home icon and then let's import it as you can see because we've exported it we can import it here now we don't have errors let's see okay um what else let me save our uh, tab icons okay so that means i have saved everything and then let's try to click next next and next okay as you can see guys still we have the same icon then let's put it um where it belongs okay if we have the same icon that means we can move it here from home we don't need it here actually we wanted to render it here where is it yeah here okay as you can see guys we are winning and then let's change the size to 21 okay as you can see guys we've got that i'm happy with this now it means that we have to um, create um what can i say um we have to do this for all these icon which is not much of a problem let's quickly do that so we are going to click this and duplicate it we know now this is a group of elements we are going to flatten it Control e that means now it's only one element and then we need to export it okay as an svg export it as an svg and then we need to drop it on visual studio code we don't even need to save it okay we don't even have to save it we're just going to drop it here so that we can uh, get uh, only this okay now guys let's try to be clever as you can see there will be a lot of editing here okay let's remove this because we know we are going to remove it okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to try to be clever let's see i'm going to use find and replace i'm going to replace a small letter svg maybe i can't be smart as well to take this further can't i put all my icons here and then replace all of them let's see guys okay i'm trying to save time okay um let me put this here for now okay somewhere here so let's go back to the design okay go back to the design let's take this one favorites okay to flatten it let's press ctrl e okay let's see is it flattened okay here is it ctrl e see okay it doesn't look like to me let's flatten it um where is flattened okay let's see i don't have an option for flatten okay let's just zoom in do we have an group here oh here is flatten control e okay that means this is one file let's export it as a svg okay once we are done with that copy this file okay copy it from here on save paste it here you know what we need to do we just have to remove this okay um i think that's all okay and then let's go to i would like to believe this is the last one Okay, control CV. Take this one out. Okay. I will click on it. Right click. 
flatten and then let's export it as SVG okay done then let's paste it here copy it paste it here okay then we can delete it here okay as you can see guys let's just remove what we know we are not going to use okay i think this is much better because we are going to copy and replace once okay so let's say um replace replace my watch is about that so we want a small one and replace it with a bigger one okay for all of these okay then we want a small path replace with a capital letter one for all of these okay and then let's copy this okay let's just copy everything let's go to our functions okay um okay let's just quickly do this Ta -ta 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 -ta. let me just copy this function okay um this icon is going to be orders okay we are going to give this a name of orders icon orders icon okay let's copy and paste the icon for orders we might as well cut it okay put this svg here happy with that and then we've got two more so what we can do we can paste this and we can delete this and then we can copy this and then we've got favorites icon and we've got um cut icon okay then this is favorite icon favorite icon and this is cut icon okay let me what can i close this is what i have to close okay now i want to close this Let me save this one and then I can save this one. So as you can see, guys, this is where we are now. We've got all our icons by name. So what we want to do, we've got home icon. Let's export orders. Okay, let's export cut icon. And let's export favorites icon. Okay. Okay. Let's see how things look like for now. We only have this one. Okay. So now let's put all of them there here. Okay. So what we want, let's go to our tab navigation. And then what we want to do on our tab navigation, we are going to uh and let's format this code so that it can be clean format selection okay so that it can be easier to read we've got this first screen and we've got the second one okay the second one it's orders so here in orders um let me copy this option okay then right after this one space the option instead of for home i'm going to say orders icon suppose we have it here okay let's see as you can see guys here is the orders icon um but it looks like 
the color we didn't change okay that's not much of a problem the fill color let's go back there to all our tab icons so we've got fields uh, which have got some different colors okay so i would like to assume all these fields for these components they've got the same color so we can replace this string with whatever that we want okay let's try to be smart again find okay let's say replace this is what we want to find we've got two of them okay we've got two of them i thought these colors they are the same everywhere but that's not much of a problem at least it's something so we are going to replace these with this fill okay with this code okay let's replace all that is done okay what else do we want to looks like on other images okay on other images we've got strokes and a lot of things let's see do we have colors for stroke as you can see guys we also got stroke okay so let's do that let's change um da, 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 okay being too clever here might become a problem so here on stroke let's change this to color okay stroke width i don't mind stroke color i don't mind i want this okay something to do with the color here i must always change it okay something with the color i must always change it so let me look for this color again do we have here in the code do we have it you can see let's change it with this do we have it again still we have it okay where is it again stroke we have this color okay now it looks like we don't have that color let's save let's see what are the changes so far in this icon as you can see guys now the icon has changed cool beans okay so let's do that for all other icons let's check this was order what about favorites favorites do you have a fill color here that i can change stroke color i have changed it okay looks like we are good to go with the favorites and let's check orders icon i'm done home icon i was done already favorites i'm done the cut icon let's see do you have any feel okay looks like i have changed it already even the stroke color okay looks like we are good to go guys let's go back to the tab navigator and then what we want to do we want to add um another tab icon okay so others they've got the screens okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to duplicate this tab okay the tab icon for orders okay i'm going to duplicate it twice obviously this is a problem because we are having we are pointing to the same screen okay as you can see we are tapping to the same screen of which that's not what we want so let's just go chronologically we've got the first one which is this one the second one is orders the third one is favorite so after orders let's have favorites okay after favorites we have what we have cut okay okay so as you can see guys my apologies about that as you can see guys we've just changed these names let's see if we're going to encounter any problem as you can see guys no problem this works as intended these ones will show the same 
screen as you can see all of these are showing orders we just need to change um from this is orders here we need to change to favorite icon and then here we need to change to cut icon let's save guys okay as you can see guys now this in terms of the icon it's exactly like this and i'm hoping the designer will love us for this okay yeah you he will he will appreciate okay that we have tried to do exactly uh what he was thinking okay so let's change the colors now what color is this copy the color as it is please note that on figma it doesn't have that hash that hash as symbol let's go to colors let's change this and put the hash symbol hash okay hash okay um for now let me just change all of them since i already done so now this is that color exactly it will pop when it's in a dark background okay so not all of these um not all of these have the same color okay and remember guys this color is going to be dynamic okay so let me not try to change these colors for now okay this color is going to be dynamic when it's active it's going to be like this but when it's not active it's going to change so let's see what we can do from there okay i think the first thing that we can do let's try to change this background and make it black so that this can be visible okay okay here in front of me in my cell phone it's visible i can see it clearly okay but maybe here you might not see it okay so let's continue guys um what i want now i'm in the tab navigator i'm in the tab screen so let's go to the tab navigator let's look for screen options okay i don't like this okay screen options and then double kelly braces what i'm looking for i'm looking for um, the tab item okay the tab item okay let's start with the tab item style then again let me give you a tip okay i am not sure even me i am not sure of these um components and styles okay i always start from a sample of what i'm looking for i'm looking for a taper i'm looking for a style or i'm looking for the taper component so what you can do guys you don't have to master these things okay you just have to work with them and um do trial and error up until you understand all of them so what i'm looking for now i'm looking for taper style so what i want from this style i want to style the background color what if maybe the background color is not what i was looking for i will change and look for something else okay so you don't have to some sort of stress yourself much about it this is how i've been doing it fortunately for me it looks like it's styling what i want to style okay cool beans let me also set padding vertical okay i want padding vertical let's see if i add 10 here okay not a problem that means this is not the one that we want to to change not a problem guys at least um i'm happy with this let's just quickly check okay okay as you can see the color that we want it's not this black okay it's this one obviously there is some sort of transparency there we will deal with that one later okay for now we just want to make sure that these icons are working my apologies about that i didn't mean to let me press escape escape again uh this looks like escape looks like it's not responding okay let me try this this is also not responding okay that don't mean i have to close it okay oh exit okay my apologies about that guys okay 
So I need to sample this color. Let me sample this color. In fact, I can just double click here. And which color is that? I think it's this one. Okay, let's see if I'm changing here. Does the color change? No, it doesn't change. Okay, this is the color that I'm looking for. Go back here and go back to the code. Now on the background, let it not be black. Let it be this color. Okay, as you can see, guys, this is progress. Okay, this is progress. Um, our user interface is getting there. Okay, let me just take a water break. Okay, guys, I'm back. My apologies about that. Now, what we want to do, we want these to change colors. As you can see now, the labels, they are changing colors. We are going to remove the labels. They are changing colors, but our icons, they don't change the color. So what we want to do, we want to go to this icon. Okay. This icon receives... Um, I always forget these props. Let me try to think hard, okay? This icon receives an indicator through the props. I think it has got something to do with um, active or something. What is it? I, I always uh, forget it. But if I forgot it, it doesn't mean... Um, it's, that is not what I want. It doesn't mean it's the end of the road. It's such that I was lazy to go to the documentation, which is React Navigation. It's it's just a, a simple word, guys. It's not a complicated thing. Okay. Whenever I remind of myself, I always, uh, uh, what can I say, pat my head and be like, ah. It's, it's very simple, guys. And I always forget it. Okay. So let's go here to the documentation. Let's go up to the tab navigator, tab navigator, right? Yes. Under navigators, let's go to the uh, bottom tabs. This is what we want. Let's look for the props. Okay. Let's look for the props. This is the tab bar. That's not what I'm looking for. Options. Um, tab icon. Okay. I'm looking for the props. <clears throat> Okay, of a method. Okay, tab up background. Not really. Okay, tab press. Okay. Maybe we are very close. Even if I can see it in this code, I will just... Yeah, here is it. Tab icon. It has got the color and the size. But not only this. There's, the, there's a boolean that I'm looking for. I think it's, it's, it's active. Okay. Am I going to use the color and the size? I think I already have. I think I already have my own colors and sizes. Okay. So it means that I have to look for the Boolean value that uh, I always forget. Okay. Okay. It's active or. My apologies about this. It looks like it's not here. Not a problem. Not a problem. Let me come here. Okay. Let me remove this. My apologies about that. Tap icon. Let me type it from scratch. Tap icon. Okay. Forecast. Okay. Here is it. Forecast. Okay. It's forecast. I'm looking for forecast. Okay. Okay, now let's undo, undo, undo. Let's see if it's there. Focus. Yeah, it's not active. It's focus. It's a Boolean. Okay, here is it, guys. Okay, and then I need to change color based on if this is focus or not focus. So instead of assigning this color by default, let's just um, put a react um, block here uh, a javascript a block of code we need to use this boolean okay this is a ternary okay 
um, some sort of a general operator it's a short form of if else we are asking with this question is this true is it focused if it's focused we want this color that means use this color here assign this to the color and then we're going to use dot dot if not what are you going to you use for now let's just say black so that we can see as it changes this is the uh okay let me just click first and see and test okay as you can see it's black when it's not focused it's only red when it's focused which is i like this then now let's look for the actual color that we are going to use from the code which is this color okay which is we want this color this is the color that we want and then let's say when you are not focused don't use black use this color okay let's move away as you can see guys okay now we need to do this for all of these meaning that we can do what do what do what do what do what we can copy this color okay we can copy this color for this and copy this color for this paste it here and always add focus to here focused okay go back here change the color and then receive focused change the color change the color and receive focused Okay, now as you can see guys, everything is working well. Okay. As you can see guys, everything is working well. We are getting there guys. Remember, I promised you that this is the only, the one and only, and the only video that will, you will watch and be confident about your React Native skill such that you will brush up your CV, remove the dust, and get employment. Okay. Because... I'm going to teach you everything. You are supposed to be confident that you can get into the work environment. Okay. So let's continue, guys. We don't need these labels because we don't have them in the code, right? Okay. Now let's go back. Um, there are two ways to style things here with React Navigation. If you want to style things permanently, you style them on the navigator itself or the screens since this is a screens property they are the ones that we've got the labels let's go to the screens okay this is a navigator this is the screens where is the options this is the options so the options ends here we want another option let's just type label and see what we're going to get tab label okay let's see how can we know beforehand what properties to pass here tab bar label property string okay so we must always look here so that we cannot assign things which are not supposed to be there we're going to assign an empty string as you can see it's gone okay the label is gone come here also assign an empty string gone also here assign an empty string gone also here assign an empty string gone okay guys as you can see we are getting there i would like to assume maybe there might also be a different way to go about it because now we have assigned an empty string we didn't remove the label okay let's just quickly test if is there an option there to remove the label maybe tape by label false okay because as you can see this these elements didn't shift it down a little bit okay it looks like the label container is still there but it's some sort of let's say it's transparent okay which is the best way to go about it will be to let's see what is there see 
tab bar show label let's try to use false okay because that will be the best way to go about it okay let's say it was there let's say it was matthew okay let me remove this tab bar show label let's see as you can see here is matthew okay what if i can set it to show it to false is this gonna move down a little bit or it's going to be the same let's see okay tab uh, show label whether the tab label should be visible the default it's true okay let me put this first then let me put this instruction first okay i really don't understand what this does okay it looks like it doesn't make a difference obviously guys you can make your own test and see if do we have a boolean property there that we can set so that we can achieve the same thing okay let's continue guys i am happy with what we have so far i'm happy with what we have so far so let's just uh work on the shape okay let's work on the shape on this shape first and then we will work on the transparency okay because transparency will need some what can i say we'll need some element okay it will need some images so that we can see if it's transparent okay for now let's just work on the shape okay then what i'm going to do in terms of the shape this is um this is some sort of um a semicircle or it's um, some sort of a a circle similar because this design assumed that our um, device has got some rounded corners okay in our case our device doesn't have rounded corners okay and we still want this effect okay we don't just want to all only what can i say do a border radius on top because this one as you can see okay it's not uh, our device it's more like it's a corner here i hope you get what i'm trying to say so what we are going to do we need to improvise a little bit okay we are going to make this as it is but we are going to lift it up a little bit so that it can give some sort of a gap or a margin okay a margin around it you will see when we are done now guys in terms of um working with these containers okay there are multiple containers here you might think that since we have styled the background that's the only container here okay there is another invisible container here i think we must look for that one let's go to the navigator okay the navigator which is this one we have worked on the tab style okay let's look for something else around tab okay it's tab bar okay tab bar style tab bar button no no not tab bar. tab bar icon not really okay tab bar label what does it take does it take string this one takes props Tab bar label position. Tab bar show label. Tab bar style. Okay, tab bar style we already have. Okay. I think what I'm looking for, it has got something to do with item. Okay, if this is uh, also this one has got item. Okay, let's say tab bar item. Okay, do we have something like that? Okay, we don't. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's just type tab only. Okay, tab bar, uh, tab bar background. Okay, tab bar background. Okay, let's go back, tab bar bottom. See tab bar icon style, tab bar label. 
okay tapas style okay it looks like um at the moment i can locate what i want but with time i will okay with time i will okay so for now let's continue and pretend this is the only container that is here which is um the tepa item okay this is the, the tepa item style okay let's continue let's pretend like that okay so um let's work on border radius on border radius okay of let's make it 10 and see okay now this is what i was telling you okay at first this gave us an impression or um, an impression that we are editing the outside container okay that's what it gave us we thought so okay but these are different items okay like uh, what can i say very close to each other but they are not the background container okay so what we are going to do let's leave this border radius on like this so that i can target if you can look closely there is a white color here between this and this there is a white color we want to target that white color at least now um this is not blocking that white color so if we change that white color we can see when we are winning okay um let's try again okay because we we, we can see that with this one we're not going to win it's not what we are looking for okay so let me work on tab background the one that i already saw there okay um tab bar icon style tab bar background okay let's see what it takes what it takes okay it takes a react element looks like we might win here let's see let's give it that element let's make it a view okay hmm. we don't have views here why it's complaining oh, okay now we have a view let's click comma and save as you can see there is no difference because we need to style our view okay let's style our view and give it some color and see okay background color the ground color of red okay obviously our view doesn't have a width and height let's make a width of 100 percent and a height of 100 percent let's see as you can see guys now we have managed to get the actual background okay the actual background so it's a tab bar background this doesn't mean it's a color it means that it's an element okay now i am happy with this okay so we wanted to change the border radius the border radius of this to this is 20 okay let's make it 15 and see border block color this is not what i want i want border radius okay as you can see guys this is what we want so let's take this we can even copy this okay and put it here so now the radius is going to be 20 i don't think i mind about that but it looks like 20 is not enough but that's not much of a problem what we can do let's set the what's going on here let's set the okay let's set the height mm, let's set the height not 200 percent let's set it to a number let's say 40 
Okay. Okay. Let's make it 90. I think it's a bit bigger. Okay. Now let's play around the top of this item. Okay, let's give it a top of 20 and see. It's going down. And as you can see, guys, not only that, somewhere behind there is a um, what can I say? There is a line here. There is an item with a border top. Okay, there is a line here. I'm not sure if you can notice that. Okay, there is also a line there. So let's first start by checking here. Border width. Okay, the border width of this. Let's make it zero. And see if that line is going to disappear. Okay, it doesn't. That means let's go back to the uh, the bottom item style. I don't think so. I don't think so. So I still have a feeling that there is a container that wraps everything that we are we haven't uh, some sort of tapped into yet okay we are somewhere there but not in that container okay so what we did here the container is still there we only injected our own container which is this one okay we injected this one but the container that we are looking for the one that has got this um border top okay we need that container so this was um, a good attempt this one okay i am not going to delete it maybe we might need this so this starts here okay this is the style and this is the view the view ends here okay so what i can do let me try to see if i can comment this what will happen okay as you can see guys okay we've got a white background here and at the same time we've got a top border we want to go there okay that's where i want to be okay um let's just uh check on tab tab active background color okay um if i think it's this has got something to do with container it's not a tab container yeah something like you see this header left container style that's what i'm looking for but for tab okay let's see where i am okay okay let's try for the last time guys on tab if we don't get it i will just have to um check chat gpt no active tint no no mm, tab up background no um tab up background tab up page tab up page style no um tab up button okay right on keyboard tab bar icon no tab bar icon style tab bar, okay tab bar label no tab bar label position tab bar show label tab bar style tab bar okay guys let me try to okay what i'm going to do i'm going to pause the video i have got um i've got an application okay i've got an application this is this is the application okay okay it's um i've got a whatsapp clone okay whatsapp ui clone and in that ui clone i did what i'm looking for okay okay in that whatsapp ui clone this is part of that and where is that one here is it okay this whatsapp ui clone 
I did that also this one is the same thing so I'm just going to pause the video to save your time I'm going to open that project and we are just going to copy and paste uh, the code all right guys I am back um, thank you so much for that we were very 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 close okay um, that's why I am saying to you um, in most cases when I um, I, when I see these things after trying so hard, I was like, Ish, my memory is poor, but um, it's, uh, it's the first attempt in learning. Okay, fail. Okay, so guys, let's just uh, jump straight into it. As you can see, guys, um, the project I was talking about, it was not WhatsApp necessarily. It's TikTok. Okay, I did a TikTok clone and I remember styling uh, this part. And here is it, guys it's tab bar style okay so we've got a tab bar and a tab item i think that's what has confused me okay it's a tab bar. so I'm, I'm looking for tab bar okay here is tab bar so let's quickly make some changes guys and see if we are progressing as you can see guys so when we are here we can look for tab bar style okay tab bar not tab bar item okay and then what we can do here we can set the background okay the background color to let's just say green for now okay okay what is missing okay it's here guys it's here. okay as you can see guys tab uh, is missing oh, sorry as you can see that uh, we have managed to style this and then let's uh, reference the, um, the user interface, the mockup. As you can see, guys, uh, this is a little bit bigger, okay? It's not uh, as small as the ones that we have, okay? So let's make the uh, height of... Mm, let's make height of 90 and see. Okay, I think this is better, okay? I think this is better let's work on border radius okay border radius um border radius what i usually do in border radius i always divide my height into two to get a perfect circle or a perfect rounded border so 90 divided by 2 it's 126 my apologies or oh, i'm joking it's 45 okay Let's see, as you can see guys now we are getting some sort of a perfect um what can i say perfect circle or something like that okay it's more like a perfect semicircle let's say and then we are having some minor issues here because this is not in the center okay the reason is the there is a lot of components here that you that we don't see let me take a water break there's a lot of components behind the scene that we don't see so we just have to make those small steps 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 until we get to where we want in doing so we will learn something so i want to also change the width um, of this um, the width of this must be uh, as you can see now it's like in the edge and you cannot see it properly so the, the first thing we need to try if we work on the containers heading there are some items that will want to pass through the screen like when we are scrolling so maybe that might be a problem so let's work on the width of this <laughs> okay let's import um, a method or something called dimensions on react native okay let's import dimensions here i don't know why these things are doing this okay let's import dimensions okay we want um dimension we want the width of dimension why dimension is not here if it's not here i don't mind i can use it this way okay let's see where we are we are here i can say here const let's try this const width is equal to dimensions or dimensions okay let's say dimensions okay this one dimensions dot get um screen or window 
whichever screen dot width okay this is the width of the screen okay so let's set the okay let's set the width of this to um dimensions okay to the width from the dimension exactly let me just put my apologies about that let me close this okay how do i exit apologies about that now i'm in the right place okay because here as you can see guys now this width is exactly okay things are misbehaving maybe i'm starting to feel uh, sleepy my apologies about that let's see okay now i have just closed everything please guys uh be patient with me i don't know why things are getting out of hand okay i think it's kobe bryant who said um what can i say take a break when you are done not when you feel tired i think okay something like that take a break or quit when you are done so let's apply that um, mentality the mamba mentality okay as much as maybe i might be tired okay might lose track but we are not done guys okay i want to teach you mobile app development so that you can become a pro so let's continue as you can see i've got the width okay to the exact same width as you can see guys we don't have uh, any difference so let's say minus 10 and see what will be the difference as you can see now it's starting to move away from the actual screen so what we are going to do we are going to make it minus 20 okay as you can see so that uh, it can give 10 gap here and 10 gap here okay for now let's um start with that and then the other thing that i want um the height is 90 i don't mind about that or maybe we can make it 85 i think it's too big because also we must look at the the width the width of this my apologies about that the width of this relative to the entire screen okay so the screens might not be the same and the height of the device might not be the same okay so as much as we want this to be like to take the same proportion but we must look at our current uh, device okay so let me try 80 here okay all right, let me try 60 okay 60 it's a bit smaller at least 65 will do okay knowing very well that we need to fix this it needs to be in the center okay well, let's just make it 70 okay 100% happy with servant so um what we want to do um now this is not supposed to be 45 as long as it's more than the half of this if this is 70 that means this is supposed to be 35 as long as it's half of this it will give you um a semicircle but if it can be 20 it's not going to work as you can see guys okay so 35 and above will work okay now when we're moving when we are decreasing the size of this as you can see it's always aligned to the left um which it's a bit of a problem so let's set the margin left um let's try with margin horizontal first to auto okay when i'm saying horizontal i'm targeting left and right okay it looks like nothing is happening not a problem let me try margin left okay margin left i cannot see it okay margin left let's try this first and say 20. okay as you can see it's moving okay so i want this to be auto meaning that it must be pushed as you can see okay let me delete it so that you can see the effect okay margin left will push it to the right 
utilizing every space that it had until it reaches whatever okay so we are doing that here now we want to do the same thing with margin right okay with margin uh, where is margin right with margin right we want it to be auto so that it can push itself to whatever available space so that it can land on no man's land or in limbo okay where there is nowhere to go <laughs> okay so we are trying that so that it can be centered guys we are trying to center it okay that's what i was trying to say boom we have won guys now it is centered perfectly okay so now let's work on the margin bottom the margin bottom let's make it 20 and see okay i'm happy with this remember when i said um remember when i said also the other thing let's use make use of mathematics here if we've got um this with minus 20 that means there is 10 here there is 10 here can't we follow that mathematics so that this feels like a proper padding okay um even though it's a, it's a it's a proper mathematics but it's too down even on the cell phone i can see it's it's almost like touching the edge it's fine when it's like this okay let's continue guys okay so i'm happy with this the other thing that we need to deal with um can't this container center all of its children like something like this justify justify content center align item center something like this let's see what will happen okay it looks like there is another container here okay that's not much of a problem let's use other methods to bypass this let's use um padding top okay let's use padding top and then let's put padding top of 10 that means it must push its own items a little bit down this feels like centered to me i'm not sure about you okay this feels centered and then what we can do now instead of uh, must we change the background or let me think okay mm, let me think let me think let me think what we can do let's change the background for now Let's change the background to the color that we had before, okay? Which is this color, okay? Which is this color. Copy. Okay. Just remove this black line here, 100%. I'm happy with this. And then let's go back here, guys, and change the color to this one. Okay, as you can see, guys, I'm happy with this. Let's check if our active icons are working. Nice, as you can see, guys. Okay, professional, neat and clean. Okay, it's looking exactly like the original design. I'm happy with this. If you have made it this far, congratulations. Okay, we're getting there. Let me just take a water break. Okay, this is awesome work, guys. Let's continue. So, what I want to do now, this is not necessary. Okay, let me just show you something. If we might think we are clever, okay, if we might think we are clever, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, okay. Let's say we want to play around with opacity since we want this to be transparent, okay. One might feel like opacity can do that. Let's see the disadvantage of opacity okay let's say 0 0.5 okay let me put comma here okay the problem with opacity everything becomes transparent including the icon as you can see guys okay so if you are thinking of opacity opacity is not the right option 
something is popping up on my mind okay in rgb okay mm, in rgb let's just go here and say uh, rgb a what can is it is it generator okay let's say rgba color picker let's try this so with rgb we've got all the colors red green and blue okay but if we've got rgba okay this value stands for alpha it means the transparency okay so what i'm going to do here before i use um another option okay i want to try this i want this color to be rgba okay um so this means we have to go here okay and then we want to take this color as it is let's change this to rgb and c okay as you can see guys this is rgba okay this is 0 0.8 okay so this is 37 40 and 48 first let's try the rgb okay um 37 40 and 48 let's see if the rgb will work here 37 40 and 48 okay let's try that rgb 37 40 48 okay let's close this let's see okay it doesn't complain it looks like to me it accepts rgb let's say 70 here and see as you can see guys the color changes okay now let's use rgba alpha and here we are going to put 0 0.8 okay now this tells us that um this color it's not a what can i say it's not a solid color it has got a bit of transparency okay in case as we continue we might not like this okay let's say we might feel like it's not it doesn't look like this one okay let me just show you this let's say i want to move this let's say just look as it moves on the background you see and also here this feels like there is a um, sort of blurriness there okay in case we might want to get there exactly we will change to um to a different uh, option for now i'm just like showing you different ways to go about the same thing so in case we might feel like no we want um that blurriness also then we can change to that later so now let's continue guys i'm happy with what we have here in terms of this icon okay that means when you click this okay when you click this it shows that okay it shows that now we need to make use of um, the icon okay let's uh, add the small icon there my apologies about that we said we are going to use a code to add that icon there not a problem let's go to each of these okay we've got this element here okay i'm happy with that let's wrap this element okay let's do this first so that this code could be like this let's wrap this element in a view okay we are taking the home element and wrapping it in a view okay what have i done okay i only need that comma there okay and remove the comma here we have just wrapped um let me make sure this is the active one we have just wrapped this with um a view okay this is the view and then what i want to do i want to add another item okay okay even if it's a self-closing tag i will be happy with that okay something like this and the item i want to style it okay 
okay um style is equal to okay why this self closing tag okay let's see i want to style this background color let's make it red background color of red the width um let's make it five and the height of five okay now that we have this my apologies i just have to charge my headset okay thank you so much for that and then let's continue as you can see guys here is it okay then let's make uh, this 10 and make this 10 okay i'm happy with that and then what we want to do the border radius uh border radius of five make it a perfect circle okay i'm happy with this i hope you see where this is going now what we want to do it is part of the flow okay there is this parent there is this uh, icon so the icon and the circle the red circle they are in the children of the same parent so meaning that they compete with space that's why you see this icon being moved up a bit okay they are sharing the space if we can position the red circle absolute okay absolute this means that it will feel like it's not inside the container it's like floating on top okay and that positioning absolute come with an advantage of moving it wherever we want to move it let's set the bottom to zero okay bottom to zero let's see where is it going to go so what it does this items this item this view wraps everything it's more like a rubber band tight um in like tightening the children inside it so if this is the bottom zero is the bottom zero of that rubber band okay meaning that it will go as far as or so that it can reach the bottom of that div so the size of that div okay, the size of that view because div it's working on the web the size of this view it's more like exactly the same as the size of the icon that's why this is here what we want to do we want to push it further let's say six and see where is it going okay it's going up let's change the direction it must be minus 20 let's see as you can see guys now when it's minus 20 it's like um going down okay so let's say minus 15 okay still is too close oh, minus 17 okay i'm happy with this and then let the parent okay this parent as a container let's style it okay i want this parent to govern how the children are being laid out so let's say it reinforces that the children must always be in the center okay obviously not this way let's try align items okay align item center okay as you can see now all the icons are aligned center okay the items so this red um it's too big looking at this proportion okay um also the distance okay let's try to make it exactly as it is so the distance was um where is the distance border radius this is red bottom let's make it 20 even though it looked like it was too much okay it's 23 okay this is better and then let's go to this is 10 let's make it 8 okay let's make it 8 this is not 18 let's make it 8 okay i'm happy with this 
okay now let's go back to um the margin top that we have the the padding top that we set here let's put it back to zero um I'll put it back to zero i didn't put it back to zero okay as you can see now that it's um back to zero it looks like um everything works well okay this space is reserved for this dot okay um let me just go back here okay the bottom uh, the bottom of this is minus 23 let's try minus 18 okay i think this is uh, better for me i'm happy with this okay so now let's check the color according to the design i think the color is the same but what we are going to do guys um let's try to make some small changes okay this one head this color and this color is the same okay so to me there is no emphasis on this is hid this is active okay so what we are going to do we are going to take the same color but we are going to some sort of increase it a little bit okay you will see what i'm trying to do now the same color but we are going to make it more reddish okay more strong and bright red in a way something like this okay i'm happy with this the reason why we are going to do that i want this to have a role okay to have a role because if it's like the same color it doesn't catch your eye and it doesn't serve its purpose okay so um instead of red we are using we're going to use that color okay let's save as you can see guys okay at least this color and this color they are not uh, like exactly the same so when i'm looking on mobile this is much better okay because if it's the same this might feel like this might feel like it's part of the icon as i did a mistake before of thinking that was the case of which that was not the case so at least this color is playing um, a role so now when we click here as you can see this doesn't change with these okay so the work that we have to do now we need to wrap every icon with this and at the same time we need to render this dot conditionally okay it must not be always there where is that dot here is the dot is it a self-closing tag no we can make it a self-closing tag okay yes it's a self-closing tag here is it okay if i want to remove it i can remove it like this okay so we want to open a block of react sorry of javascript uh, code and then let's use the tenary we are going to ask is this focused okay is focused true okay we're asking if focus is true we want to render this Okay, then let's go back here and type those uh, dots. If not, we want to render none. Okay, that means nothing will be rendered. Save. As you can see, guys, now it's not focused. But when we click here, now it's focused. It's there, not focused. Okay, I hope you, you see this. Okay, focus. Okay, I'm happy with this. Now what we need to do we need to take the same logic okay and apply it for all the icons okay mm, ta -ta 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 -ta. Mm, we can do copy and paste if we want okay let's quickly do that for the sake of this tutorial so that it cannot be too long okay so what we are going to do let's see first of all let me highlight my code and let me format it okay so that it can be presentable okay so what i'm going to do i am going to take this icon the one that has got um where is it i think it's home yes this one okay this is the one that i'm looking for where it ends it ends here okay so what i want to do i want to take this code and paste it here i'm going to use it as a template okay what i want to do i want to change the icon to be this one the orders icon 
so let me just go to orders and i want to change only the icon inside here to be orders okay um where is that icon here is it and then now the icon is orders what else um i don't think there is something else that means i can copy this okay let me copy everything my apologies about that i only want to copy this copy and let me comment it let's go to orders and replace the tab icon for orders okay let's save and see as you can see everything is still the same but when we click on orders now orders can be active okay okay as you can see guys okay so i'm happy with this that means our template is working now let's go to this was orders okay now let's go to favorite i only change this okay and comment this okay and then i'm going to change only this and then comment it then go to favorites and remove this and replace it with this everything looks the same but when you click now as you can see it's active okay 100 percent nice so what we want to do now we want to do the same thing for this okay let's go back to the cut for the cut where i am do, 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 do. my apologies about that i want to go down and i want to take this cut and comment this and then what i want to do i want to replace this and then let me cut everything because i don't think i will use that here is the cut let's see the shopping cut boom and let's test guys nice everything is working well i'm happy with this okay now let's continue guys let's keep it going and let's keep it flowing like water okay okay let's see i want to remove this okay let's go back here the first thing that we want we want to remove the top bar okay um we don't need the top bar yes we don't let's remove it so how are you going to remove the top bar um what are we going to do okay let's do this let's go to um the stack navigator this is home i think in the stack navigator let's go to the stack navigator this is onboarding and this is home screen here on home screen we want to put some options okay in this options for this home screen we want to okay so on this options for this home screen screen this is what we want to do we want other headers shown to be false do we have something like that let me just type shown instead okay headers shown set it to false let's see nothing where we are okay okay this is home screen and home screen has headers to false okay mm, this is onboarding screen this is the initial route and then we are here on okay let me remove this here first and see okay let's go back to tabs um let's look for let's look for the tab icon for what let me click on home so that i can know that everything let's go to home 
and change orders and home okay options here these are the options let's add here let me type shown headers shown let me set it to false here let me set it to false here let's see okay guys okay my apologies we can set it from here as you can see this home now is here okay it's like um what can i say um this home it's here right on the edge of which that's not a problem we need to always avoid text or elements that will be here how do you that do that you use a safe area context so let's go to this home screen okay um i think this home screen was rendered as a test here i think now it's time to take it out of this i think it was rendered as a test somewhere here home test as you can see okay so now um let's change it to be welcome okay not home because we've got other home screens here let's say this is a welcome screen okay dot tsx okay and then rnfe okay now i'm going to save this and here instead of rendering home test i'm going to render welcome screen Okay, suppose everything the same besides now this there is welcome here so in this welcome screen what i want to do i want to tell it that it must always be wrapped um, by a safe area view meaning that a safe area view will always make sure that this is rendered on a proper place let's type safe area oh, this is save safe area view Okay, as you can see, make sure you are taking it from React Native safe area context. Okay, in case it might not be there, please um, search that on Google. You can see an NPM to it, NPM install and then continue in case it's not there. Okay, it's something that you can install separately. And then let's click save from here. As you can see, guys, now we have avoided that part. We are here. Cool beans. Let's look at our code, okay? We can set a background here of the color, but we've got these. Okay, I think I got this wrong, okay? Okay, let's see, this is the actual screen. Okay, so the actual screen is not like this, okay? This was just for um, the art cover. So this is the actual screen, in fact. This is the actual screen. My apologies. Okay. These um, things, these ones, they are part of the design for, what can I say, for display. So the actual screen doesn't have any thing in it. Like, what can I say, some... It looks like it has got some texture. Okay. But a plain solid color will do okay it looks like it, it it has got some fine some texture there since we want this to be exactly as it's supposed to be let's check what is this texture about as you can see guys there is a texture there okay okay so what we are going to do okay what we're going to do now we will need an image okay we will need an image let's expand this texture okay it scales um all of it let me press v and c okay i don't think i want it to scale all of it i wonder why it's scaling okay this is an image okay okay I see uh enter Okay, this is a rectangle. Okay, there's something that I don't understand here. I want to extra. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, now I see. Okay, now I see. Okay, this is the image. Okay, obviously there is some sort of a blend mode applied to it. As you can see, it's passed through. If we can click normal here, this is the normal version. 
and then it has got a pass through okay meaning that we can um, put a solid color behind it okay a solid color behind it and then send it to the back let's check as you can see guys there is something there okay there is something there okay but i'm not sure how far it goes because it looks like here it's not there maybe it's only let me scroll up oh here i have removed it okay remember i've made some changes uh let's check here okay let's check here we do have it here very sharp it's visible let's see is it fading not really i can still see it but it's starting a little bit it's there it's there it's there okay it's there it doesn't it doesn't fade okay my eyes are telling me what i want to see of which that's a problem okay let's go back so we need this image okay this looks fine to me fine meaning that um it's too small in the computer we can see this difference but my worry is in the cell phone i don't think we might notice this okay so we will see what we can do okay what is the size of this let me copy this okay now i'm sure that sorry about that what happened okay i want this size copy the height okay now i'm sure the width and height of this is the same okay Control g nope Control g group this or do we have an array name let's say bg and then let's export this as a jpeg and then what we want to do we want to bring um bg into the project so what we can do we can just go to here copy bg then we can go to the project then when we are in the project what we want to do we want to go to assets we don't have any folder separate for our asset but for now um you can make a separate folder okay for now i'm just going to drop it here it's pg1 let me rename it to or oh, let me use a vs code to rename it to one to bg okay vs code where is rename to bg and i'm happy with that now what we want to do we want this bg to fill the entire area okay this is a safe area view i'm happy with that inside the safe area view we want a background or an image background rather image there's no image background here yeah is it from react native okay is this wrapping the safe area view yes we don't need this okay so what we want we want the source source of this okay to be required and then it's a function it takes um a parameter which is let's say dot forward slash where we are now we are on home screen what if it's dot dot okay that means we are the home screen where is assets do we have asset here expo suppose we do have asset yes then forward slash and then let's say bg um dot jpg suppose that's the format let's save okay obviously this file does not exist that's a common problem let's just check where we are 
in terms of this folder um we are on welcome screen okay welcome screen okay this is welcome screen where is welcome screen welcome screen is inside screens okay let's oh this is not a dot okay let's see okay i think everything is working but it's such that we don't have some styles for this okay now let's set some styles for this background okay why it's not working okay image background let me remove this still okay now i see okay let's first say flex one and let's see give it a flex of one okay so what we are trying to do now um the other thing that might have happened is that oh, it might happen that we've exported only the light part of the image let's just check is this dark when we're opening it okay okay it looks like to me it's dark okay let's also go back here just yeah it's dark okay so that means this is the right image no problem okay let's go back here let's go back here what we want to do let's make a width okay another thing let's say image from a resize mode let's click on this resize mode let's make it contain okay uh cover my apologies about that we want it to fill the entire screen and then when you are struggling with um styling the child maybe it's misbehaving just like this one we are trying to do something but we don't see an effect what you must do you must consider looking at the parent it's like when you see a bad behavior in the kid you might want to know the environment okay you want to know where is this child coming from the same thing happens here let's go back to our parent if you look at the parent um there is nothing that talks about this is fitting the whole width and height okay and i think it is advised that don't style a safe area view but let's just quickly try to style it okay in case we are getting some errors then we will see what we can do let's start with the flex of one and see okay nothing yet let's say background color Okay. Oh, the other thing that we should have done. The other thing that we should have done. Okay, as you can see, here is it? The other thing that we should have done. We should have typed something here. That text should have been here. Okay, I'm in the wrong place. I see. Inside the background image, let's just put text here. It's going to help us with uh, with showing us something. As you can see, guys, we do have that image. Okay, as you can see, we do have that image. Okay, but it's such that we need to make sure that our layout, our containers, okay, are correct. Okay, let's say height of 100%. Okay, height of 100%. Okay, that means now the safe area view has got a height of 100%. And in terms of styles, our, our image, I don't think it has that. Let's just type a flex of 1 and see what will happen. As you can see now, the image is like uh, spanning across okay, everything. I'm happy with this. Um, one thing that I'm noticing here, don't mind about this. Okay, one thing I'm noticing here. Uh, okay, 
let me first connect again let me connect again okay on the computer it seems like the the texture doesn't like it's not that visible and in the phone as i'm looking at it if i can be honest i don't think it serves the same purpose okay let me just look at it again it, it, it doesn't serve the the same purpose it's there but i don't look i don't think it looks good as in here even here it only looks good when you are close to it okay it's like when you are when you are close to it okay so i'm not sure let's let's continue okay um let's continue but um let's see we will see but to me this doesn't look like this doesn't look good okay let's just continue and see we will change it if we want to okay so um what i want to do now i want to fix this problem okay um the height of this is 100 percent and uh, this one is flex one now let's not flex things let's just say the height is 100 percent okay make sure the height is 100 percent okay let me remove the background and see is this going to be white yes okay interesting now um where am i going to do this um what is the name of this component i need the name of this component it's i like to forget simple components let me just go to app i think this component was here and i deleted it okay um the name of the component it was start with active okay now i need to remember the name we need to style this so that it can be transparent okay so that it can be transparent okay what is it is it a top bar i always forget this is just a a, a very simple name guys okay tap action no it starts with a i think but if i'm not winning i will just have to pause and quickly search it on the internet it's not activity indicator okay let me not waste your time okay guys i'm back my apologies about that the name of this component is status bar okay i always forget it but i think i won't forget it now it's status bar guys okay status bar okay let's just next 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 okay as you can see guys uh, nothing happens and then um what we want to do we want to hide it okay hidden equal to true okay hidden equal to true as you can see Okay, that means now it's not there okay um on my phone um at the top here there is this bar that i don't like my big assumption will be um this is the safe area context that does this okay so let's see if we can rearrange some elements um where is the safe area context on welcome screen okay let's um let's just remove the safe area context and see first okay let's delete this let's see okay it looks like there is no difference let me edit this text and see are we able to render yes okay so it's not the safe area context okay so for now 
let's just leave it like this because even my da -da 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 -da, my screen this one okay it's some sort of be misbehaving when i want to crop these black lines this is what it does i don't know why it does this okay so it might happen it's other factors that um will resolve themselves if we can refresh okay for the sake of continuing with the tutorial now let's solve this problem as you can see we are back to this problem okay the other thing that i think it's not cool this color let me look it in the phone yeah this uh takes away from the look and feel when i'm looking at this on the phone guys it's not exactly what we are looking for as you can see even here it's grayish and the picture is pixelating okay so i think we can uh start there okay starting there means we are going to change the background color of this let's even sample any color from here okay and also what i see i think this color it's lighter okay let's just let's side i want the hex okay let me copy this go back here and then let's set the background color background color to this okay and let's remove this which is this one okay the background image okay let's remove it okay as you can see guys we've got um some plain okay uh plain color there and the plain color that we have okay but we will fix it um relative to this color okay it looks like this is light and this is light and there might be no difference between this background and back and, and that background we might not achieve this look and feel where is okay this look and feel okay one of these needs to be a little bit stronger okay so that it can contrast with the other okay let's first solve this problem now where do i go when i want to solve this problem let's go to the bottom tab and see okay as i've said before there's a lot of um containers involved in react navigation okay you can only know them when you are using them tab navigation by always trying testing things okay so let's see this is not transparent okay let's go back to the bottom tab okay tap navigator this is what we want tap style okay mm, let's see if we can remove this what will happen okay that means there is a container which is not this one okay it's not tap style okay let's see um this is tap style everything for tap style okay let's look at the tab background okay background color tab background okay this is um i thought this one let's see if we can assign a string here it's not assigned okay it doesn't take a string okay let's choose another one okay tab um, tab background now i think this is still the same thing it's not okay let's go back to passing something okay we're passing this view and it has got the red background okay let's see the background was this uh still um still this is not where we really really want to be this is not where we want to be let's see 
Let's remove this. Okay, let me make sure that I'm removing the right thing. Okay, tab bar style still is not what we are looking for. Okay, still this is not what we are looking for. There is a container here. I think that's the one that I'm looking for. There is another container that contains everything. It, it wraps everything. Okay, it wraps everything. Tab bar container. Okay, these are the options. Let's look at tab bar. Okay, tab bar background, tab bar active, no bottom tab. Okay, let's see what else, what else, what else. style okay let's let's look for all the tab things in here a bar background okay this is the same thing button icon style inactive that's not what I want okay guys um let me quickly um pause the video and see how am i going to solve this problem okay let me see how am i going to solve this problem let me try something okay let me try something what if i can assign my own tab okay let's say i don't want the one that they've given me I want to assign my own tab bar. Okay. And in doing so. Okay. I think it also takes a function like this. Okay. Then let's just have a text. Oh, this is not what I'm looking for. Okay. So tab bar, what is it taking? That's an option, tab bar style. I think there's a background color there. Let's see. Tab bar, element, tabs go to true. Screen options. Background color string. Okay, let's see. Tab bar let me just assign this not assignable to bottom prep props yes this is this has to be a react node okay now i'm sure let's do this guys okay and then let's just put a text but i don't know why this thing is red Okay, why right, this thing is red. Okay. Okay. 100%. Let's see. So, meaning that um, I have managed to create my own tab bar. But my own tab bar still, uh, what can I say? It's inside my tab bar still it's inside a white background okay now what i just did gives me another thought okay by the way guys this is um how we solve problems in development okay um you are not going to always have a clear path okay so you are always um making some ways changing and so what I'm thinking now, I can make this an absolute, okay? So that it cannot feel like it's part of the flow, okay? Let's quickly do that, guys. Where is that? Where is the tab navigator? I'm in the tab navigator. And 
in the tab navigator i want where is that tab style tab bar style tab level my apologies for this looks like i'm lost in my own code let me dig myself out of this dark hole okay starting from scratch going to the top tab bar screen where is the tab navigator yes tab navigator tab bar style this is the background let's get this let's set the position to absolute okay absolute let's see guys as you can see setting the background to absolute okay it's some sort of acting like it's um removing it from the from the flow okay um and then what we want to do now we are still having that problem that i've mentioned before which is the top radius no, sorry the top um what this thing um it looks like i'm tired let me take a water break remember the mamba mentality you only um what can i say take a break when you are done not when you are tired okay so this is a border top which is white i don't want it let's see if we can remove it border top width that's what i want border top width let me make it zero okay boom guys done we did it okay now um it looks like um this is not in the center okay let's align self okay let's align self center and let's see okay obviously there might be other containers that we are not aware of which is the parent containers that we are not aware of so aligning self um is not working now margin left and margin right it's auto okay what i'm thinking is the reason why i'm doing this is because i want to come up with a solution that works in all phones okay if we can do this here margin left and maybe put 20 here as you can see we might win okay but what if the phone is bigger than this what are we going to do so basically that's my what can i say that's my concern but for now guys for the sake of this tutorial as you can see that there's a lot of things involved in development okay let's just um continue with this okay just for that case but as you can see guys you can make your own research and try to refine uh, the solution okay so margin bottom let me make it uh, let's make it 30 and see okay i'm somewhat happy with this okay let me make it 20 let's see okay 20 works fine for me okay as i've told you guys that um in terms of the colors okay this looks like more or less like the same okay there is no contrast between the colors let's check the the actual uh, code okay check the actual code where is our original screen we want to be where we want to be here okay we want to be here for me okay maybe maybe i will see it when maybe i will see it when everything is here okay maybe i will see it when everything is here how could i know when everything is here we just need to make a test okay we just need to make a test to me i feel like this can be darker than the way it is now let's see if we can try that okay where is that okay let's see maybe i am going somewhere let's see if this could be a little bit darker let's let's see okay go back here okay let's go to home screen um welcome screen rather and then let's change this to here and let's see okay this is a bit darker okay which is 
it's getting a chance to expose this one but that is not much of a problem guys now i think this video it's uh it's long enough okay this video it's 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 long enough guys okay so um let's end this video here for now and we are going to to continue okay so this is where we are at the moment let's just make some demonstration okay just a small demonstration for us okay let me remove it here go back here and then click here let's load the app as you can see guys this is what we have nice okay we're getting there it's interesting this is our splash screen okay and then from there it's taking some time but it's worth it as you can see guys now we've got our onboarding screen okay our onboarding screen and then from then get started okay when we get into get started this is where we are i think we have managed to push guys i'm matthew singati the designer and developer from south africa if you feel like this video has been helpful please um don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you so much see you on the next one